Hi everybody, it's Casey Williams. When a car's paint color is called Thunder Knight Metallic, I'm already in love with it. Let's go take a look at the 2022 BMW M240i. Well, you might have thought Thunder Knight Metallic was some kind of stormy gray color, but it turns out to be purple. And it just happens to look really good on the new 2 Series. I really like this car. It's one of my favorite BMWs. I like the design. It looks a little bit like a downsized 8 Series, which I think looks really good in this compact size. The other thing I really like about the 2 Series it reminds me a lot of the classic 3 Series cars from like the 1980s, 1970s, and the 2002 before that. So I just like this car. I like it in BMW's lineup. And I think it just looks right. And it's just what you really expect a traditional BMW to be. But the design is anything but traditional. Of course, you have the big twin kidney grille. But I like the fact that it's kind of smaller and it's not the gigantic one that's now on the 3 Series and 4 Series. I like the LED headlamps. This has the aero package on it and all the black trim. I think it looks really sporty. It looks really good. There's a very muscular feel to this vehicle too. 19 inch alloy wheels. And this, you know, traditional BMW. You know, you got the Hoffmeister kink here in the back. But what I like about this 2 Series, it's just elongated a little bit more. It's a little less frumpy. The roof just looks a little more elegant, a little more pleasing. And I think the overall design is just a little more cohesive. But I really do like it. it has a large sunroof. I really like what they did with the back too. I like the thin spoiler. I like the redesigned tail lamps. Almost kind of takes off of the i8 and some of the other new BMWs. Looks good. Twin exhaust outlets. The car just looks very sporty, looks very mean, but also very classy. I think the interior is spot on. In fact, it's one of my favorite BMW interiors too. It has everything you need to be comfortable, all the luxury you expect in the BMW. Also a lot of sport, but there's just nothing that's overdone about it. You know, I like this kind of metallic look here on the dash. Nice, looks really pretty. It's not real metallic, but it looks very nice. Nice thick heated leather wrapped steering wheel, the stitching. You know, being a medium W, you know, all the details matter. The blue stitching here in the seats, the thick bolsters. These aren't real leather, they're, they're kind of a vinyl, high tech vinyl. But they work really well and they're easy to clean. In a car like this, they're going to last absolutely forever. Extendable rear bottom cushions down here works. And the blue stitching here on the console. Again, it just looks really, really nice. So, you know, some of the technology in the car, of course, it has BMW's iDrive system. I don't love this, never have loved it, but it works all right. You can also swipe screen it, so if this doesn't make you happy, you can do it here. Um, has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto connectivity, got wireless phone charging here in the console. Overall, it's pretty easy to use. Seats are heated, that keep you comfortable. Dual zone automatic climate control. You know, it's been ungodly hot in Indiana here recently, and uh, the air conditioners worked very nice. I also like the new flat screen instruments and a heads up display. So, you know, all the things to give you the comforts you need, the conveniences you need but nothing to take away from the overall driving experience of the car. You don't feel like you're constantly fiddling with things. It just works really well. It does have some of the crash avoidance systems on it too. It has lane keep assist, forward collision warning, blind spot warning, rear cross path detection. So pretty much everything you need to keep yourself on path and do it safely. Well, when a car is painted Thunder Knight Metallic, it better bring the thunder. And this car certainly does. So under the hood is a three liter turbocharged inline six cylinder engine delivers 382 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. It routes that to the all-wheel drive system through an eight-speed automatic transmission. So in a car this size with all-wheel drive, plenty of power, it, and it's super smooth. You know, you can be on the highway, be on a track, step on the throttle, and it will just accelerate away. And the nice thing with all-wheel drive is if you get in a little bit of inclement weather, get a little bit of snow, a little bit of ice, the car can deal with that too. So it also has a drive mode selector, has an adaptive suspension system, um, you can put it in sport mode and stiffen it up. You can put it in comfort mode and it'll just be a lot more comfortable on the highway, waft along, or to absorb rough city streets. I like that a lot. And it also tightens the steering just a little bit and changes how that feels. So you can configure this car however you want to. Um, fuel economy, I think it's pretty decent for a car this, with this much power and about this size. So it gets 23 miles per gallon in the city, 32 on the highway. So, you know, gas prices are high right now. I know when you're buying a BMW, that's probably not the first thing on your list. But if you buy this car, you know, you can, you feel like 32 miles per gallon on the highway is actually pretty good for the performance this car offers. But overall, I really enjoyed it. I enjoy the size of it. I'm glad that it's just a little bit larger, a little more interior space. It just feels a little more mature. The adaptive suspension does a pretty good job of taming the bumps, although these are pretty big bumps right now. But I really, really enjoyed driving the car and it's been a lot of fun this week. I think the M240i really is the car for the BMW enthusiasts. It really is the car that takes us back to the 1980s, the 1990s to a simpler time with BMWs, where the focus was at least as much on driving as the luxuries and the toys. I don't need all the gadgets, I just want the car to be nice to enjoy and, and to drive it. And this one with the turbocharged inline six, all wheel drive, 
definitely get you there. So let's talk about price. Well, the car starts are about $48,500, and this one, as equipped, $56,845. Well, next week, another fun car. Till then, storm forward.